Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I am gonna bring you on this video, nine things you can do to kick your sugar habit. And I think you're gonna find that they're pretty easy to do. I would say most of them are things you can be adding in. Most of them don't cost any money. You just gonna have to work the checklist of trying the nine different things. So everybody's version of these nine to kick the sugar habit are gonna be different. So stay tuned because all the way at the end, I'm gonna summarize all nine. I'm gonna show you some of the science that's really interesting about our gut health and our taste buds and our adrenals. I've got a lot of really cool studies for you here. Um, thank you guys so much for your great feedback on the last video I did on how dangerous sugar is. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. And if you want to go through an experience of keto and fasting with us, join us in our next Metabolic Reset. If you just put Metabolic Reset in, the, in your comments, we'll make sure you get a, a link. But always, do not give up on yourself. These nine things could be, most likely will, will be, the solution to kicking your sugar habit. I'm cheering you on. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we are gonna go through nine different things that you can be doing to kick your sugar habit. So this is a follow-up video to the one I did on the most dangerous ingredient to eat, and it sounds like my team reported back when we premiered that video that you guys quickly caught on that that food was gonna be sugar. If you haven't seen the video, please go back and watch it because it's so important at this moment in history that we understand the impact of sugar on our immune system, specifically the coronavirus, because the coronavirus will use sugar to camouflage itself from your immunity, your immune system. That's not good. So we need to come up with some strategies for you to learn how to kick your sugar habit so that you can boost your immune system and more importantly, you can become a bad host to this virus. So in this video, I'm gonna give you nine things. Okay, and I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna add the science in and I'm gonna give you sort of the big picture. So stay with me through this whole process. First thing I want you to think about is that there are three major um, topics to look at. One is your gut health, two is your adrenal health, and then three, there are what I call lifestyle hacks, some little simple things you can do that might create a really big result in causing your you to stop craving so much sugar. So let's start with your gut health. First thing I want you to understand is that in your gut microbiome, you have a hundred times more bacteria in your gut microbiome than you do human cells. And those bacteria actually control your taste buds. So there are two different ways or two different things to look at when it comes to your gut bacteria um, that will determine whether you are more prone to sugar addiction or not. The first is your, how diverse your gut bacteria are. So there are some studies, and again, I'm gonna link them in here that show that if you, so there's like 6,000 different types of bacteria in our gut. And let's say you have only, and those are different species. Let's say you only have 100 of these species that are prevalent and are driving your immune system. I'm sorry, your, your taste buds, they're driving those your cravings. What if those 100 bacteria in your gut are the bacteria that feed off of carbohydrates and sugars. And, and, and some of them will feed off fat for those of you guys that crave fats. So there are some really interesting studies and I'm gonna read you some quotes here that they are noticing that if you have less diversity in your gut, you have these small amount of bacteria that you are that are driving your taste buds if you have less diversity you're more prone to eat unhealthy they also are finding that things like chocolate and desiring chocolate is even controlled by the bacteria in your gut 
So in order to, for some of you, in order to kick the habit of sugar, you need to open up the diversity so that you are not constantly having the same bacteria drive your taste buds. And, and a lot of it is because we eat the same foods over and over and over again. So you just feed those bacteria and now you have a hundred really strong bacteria in your gut and you're missing thousands that you need to be able to keep the environment in the gut more balanced. So my first thing with gut health is please increase the diversity of your gut bacteria. And you can do that by eating different foods and specifically plants. So if you eat a salad and you're eating the same salad over and over and over again with the same lettuce and the same tomatoes and the same salad dressing, you're, you're again, you're creating this monoculture inside your gut. But I want you to be eating all different kinds of vegetables. I want you to be eating all different kinds of, of greens. I want you to open up the diversity of foods that you're eating because that will start to create a more diverse microbiome, which will help kill some of the cravings. Okay, second thing, we have sweet receptor sites in our mouth. We even have them in our sinuses. And you can have specific bacteria in your gut that stimulate these sweet receptor sites. And what they have found is that it boils down to two different types of bacteria. One is called Bacteroides, the other is called Firmicutes. I call it Firmicutes, it's actually Firmicutes, but I like to call it Firmicutes. And what they found is that if you have more Bacteroides than you have Firmicutes, you are gonna be more prone to hold on to weight, you're gonna be more prone to want carbohydrates, you're gonna be more prone to, ha to stimulating these sweet receptor sites that are in your mouth. So you're gonna, again, we're back at your gut bacteria is controlling your taste buds. So how do you know if you have more Bacteroides and Firmicutes? This is where a good old fashioned gut test will tell you. Um, what I love, we use the gut zoomer and what I love about the gut zoomer is it'll, it'll just give me a reading right there and it'll say, yeah, you've got more Bacteroides and Firmicutes. So let's now go to town on feeding the Firmicutes so we can bring them up. So that would, that would be uh, one thing. If you haven't done a gut zoomer with us, just put gut zoomer and we'll send you a link on how to do that. Okay. Second organ that I want you to look at is your adrenals. So remember that when your cortisol goes up, cortisol will control insulin. It will control blood sugar. So we need your adrenals to be strong. We need you to not be adrenal fatigued because when you're, if your cortisol is doing this all day long up and down, it's gonna make insulin do this all day long up and down. And when you get to those downs, the body needs to, have bur to, to get some cortisol to function. So what it will do is cause you to crave sweets so that you bring that level of cortisol back up so you can function normally. So we want to dive in after you've looked at your gut, we want to dive into your adrenals and go, okay, well, what can we do here to be able to help the adrenals? And there's a lot we can do. So the first thing I'll tell you is you got to minimize stress. That's a whole nother video. We'll do that up for another day. You got to bring your caffeine down. So something as simple as, okay, now I'm going to eat more vegetables and I'm going to cut back on caffeine. For some of you, that might be such a simple step that your sugar cravings go away. Um, you want to really minimize alcohol because that will increase your sugar uh, taste buds and, and your cravings and it'll really affect your adrenals. And then this is an interesting one and I brought this up on a, a couple of videos before, prior that food that is filled with toxins make you insulin resistant. So I use this with uh, NutraSweet, artificial sweeteners. What they're finding is it makes you more insulin resistant. Well, what insulin resistance means is that you're not getting the insulin into the cell. So you have all this insulin swimming around the body. So the, your brain says, too much insulin, I need you to go create, eat me some sugar, give me some sugar so that I can balance this insulin out. So get off the toxins, get off the, nat the artificial sweeteners, get off all the crappy synthetic food, and that too alone might really have an impact on your sweet tooth. Okay. 
Then I want you to add some things in for your adrenals. So greatest thing about the adrenals, what you can really do to support your adrenals is you wanna stabilize that blood sugar. So make sure that you're again, minimizing your carbs down and that you're increasing protein and fat. So we see this a lot with vegetarians and this is not, I'm not, I'm not picking on the vegetarians, but sometimes people, when they go to the vegetarian diet, they tend to have too many carbs and not enough protein if they're not conscious about it. And what that will do is make them more hungry. It can lead to more sweet tooths. We've had a tougher time um, really helping those people bring their blood sugar down and unhooking their carb and sweet, sweet tooth addiction. But let's apply it to all of us. When we eat protein and fat, it stabilizes our blood sugar, especially fat. When we are not eating as many carbohydrates and we're doing protein and fat, what we're doing is we have this stabilized blood sugar and you're not getting the dips. So if you don't get the dips, then when you're not at a low, the brain never says, feed me sugar. It's just like, I'm not hungry. I'm just gonna stay in this stable place. So your adrenals, you can get off the cortisol path. You can get off the ups and downs of blood sugar by just adding in more protein and fat. Okay, and then remember your adrenals also need leafy green vegetables. They do really well with organ meats. I've got some great interviews with a, uh, Maria Emmerich, we're going to talk about the carnivore diet on my podcast. So if you haven't gone to the Resetter podcast, Casco, there's some fun, fun interviews, and I've got one on the carnivore coming up soon. And then go back and watch the grain video. So it was titled, um, Is There Ever a Good Time to Eat Grains? Well, some of my patients that are really adrenal fatigued, we want them adding in those organic, ancient, fermented grains because they can support the adrenal glands. For some of you, that might be the key. Okay, last thing, and then I'm gonna give you a checklist so you guys can be like, I'm doing this, 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 and this. Last thing I wanna tell you is sleep. Massively important that you're getting good sleep. So if you're not making an effort to make, get to bed earlier, to make sleep a priority, that might be contributing to why you are craving sweets. Something as simple as sleep. Uh, science, again, is showing us that when you don't get enough sleep, what happens is your brain stops operating from the frontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that ma can make logical, smart, healthy decisions, and you move into the amygdala, which is the anxiety part of the brain. And here's a study, I'm gonna put it in the notes, that when you make this bi-directional change in the brain, it has been associated with an increase in a desire for weight gain, promoting high calorie foods when you are sleep deprived. So when you become not sleeping enough, brain doesn't operate from here, it operates from the fight or flight brain, and there are sciences showing us once you're there, that you start to crave foods that don't support your health. Okay, so make sleep a priority. Um, two more, uh, dehydration. So dehydration increases cortisol. So if you're dehydrated, you could be spiking cortisol and then now cortisol is up, blood sugar is gonna go down, you're gonna, you're gonna crave sweets. So make sure you're drinking enough water. And then my favorite, is using the 24 hour fast to reset your dopamine receptor sites. So a lot of the world right now has too much dopamine stimulation from the social media to overeating to instant gratification and we've become dopamine resistant. I've done videos on this as well. So the 24 hour fast can reset your dopamine receptor sites and sometimes that alone can make your cravings for food mellow out. Because if your dopamine receptor sites are saturated, what can happen is you want more sugary foods. You want something that's more enjoyable because you're not getting the joy out of the small things like a carrot. You know, a really good carrot can bring so much joy to, the, to eating. So, but if your dopamine receptor sites are over flooded, it, what's, it's just like insulin, your body's gonna be like, give me more, give me more, give me more. So 24 hour fast can help reset those dopamine receptor sites. Okay, so let me put this together really quickly for you. One, you're gonna increase your plant diversity. Two, you're gonna check your gut to make sure you don't have a mismatch of Bacteroides to Firmicutes bacteria. 
Three, you're gonna help your adrenals out by lowering stress, caffeine, and alcohol. Four, you're gonna get out of re insulin resistance by avoiding toxins and starting to fast a little more. Five, you're gonna stabilize your blood sugar with protein and fat and minimizing your carbs. Six, you're gonna nourish your adrenal glands with leafy greens, maybe some organ meats, maybe some whole grains, maybe you'll kinda of dabble there. Seven, you're gonna make sleep a priority. Eight, you're gonna avoid dehydration and drink more water. And nine, you're gonna start doing more 24-hour fasts. Whew, I know that was a lot, but there you go. Try those nine things. I think most of those don't cost money, so try them out. But when we hit up against these walls where we're like, oh, I can't get over my sugar addiction, it's not because you're a weak human being and you're not disciplined enough. It's because there's something chemically that has gone off. And you gotta find that count, that balance back again. And these nine things will help you do that. So try the nine and then give me feedback and let me know how that works. Uh, if you wanna join us in our Metabolic Reset, we are doing a new one in uh, July. It is a 15 day experience where I will take you through keto and fasting and how to build your immune system and get rid of your cravings. This is what we do in 15 days. So just put Metabolic Reset in there and we'll make sure you get a link. Okay, you got this. So don't give up on yourself. Try the nine things and I guarantee you can kick this sugar habit. Hope it helps.